it's just a friendly reminder that like our video and don't forget to subscribe for next free videos at Thunder Aduk. Increase in the temperature of the reaction. So we are saying that you have two graphs, graph A and graph B. Uh, this graph is shows that at a higher temperature, the graph looks like this. At a higher temperature, the graph looks like this. And then uh, at a low temperature, you'll find out the graph looks like this. So what is the major difference between this and this? Why is at a higher temperature it looks like this? So this uh, shaded part shows um, the particles which have um, enough energy or more than the activation energy so that they can react. So if you look at the number of particles here, if you draw a line here uh, at a low temperature, you find out that only these particles from here to here have enough um, uh, kinetic energy to react to form into products or more than activation energy. But if you look at this, um, the number is bigger compared to this. So it shows that here there are few particles which have uh, enough kinetic energy to convert into products. But here it has more particles which can uh, be converted into um, products. So um, when you increase the temperature, you are increasing the kinetic energy. You are increasing the speed at which these particles are moving. You increase in, in, the, in, in, in the temperature, you are increasing the, the speed at which these uh, particles are what are moving and then this causes more collusion so if the temperature is too high then it means that there's the, the, the activation energy is going to be lowered or many particles will have more kinetic energy and then they can be converted into products that's why you see here that here the reaction or the graph is covering more particles if you draw a line here and then here it is covering fewer particles so it means that if you have uh, more kinetic energy uh, it means that uh, the the particles which are going to react are going to be more and then uh, more products are going to be formed so increase in temperature increases uh, the rate of a uh, chemical reaction so at high temperature higher temperature the graph is wider and most probably energy is higher so if you look at it, it the, the graph is wider it means that um it has more more, more more particles which can react, uh, which have enough energy. And then, uh, then the, the number of additional particles with energy or uh, is greater than the activation energy, therefore enough energy uh, to react or to react with the, uh, the other reactants. And then this one shows that the most probable energy at uh, low temperature. So at low temperature, this is the most probable energy and then the most probable uh, energy at high temperature. You see that the energy here is, look at this, uh, you see that the, the particles have a lower energy, a uh, kinetic energy. And then uh, if it is a higher temperature, you find out that the energy increases from this point to this point. If this is 0, 2, 4, uh, 8, uh, 10, uh, you find out that have, this one will have like 8 and this one will have like uh, 12. And then it means that yeah, it has more, if it is at higher temperature, it has more uh, kinetic energy. So that's how we can uh, explain this graph. Right? At a higher temperature, the average kinetic energy is higher than is higher than at a low temperature. So at a higher temperature, the, the kinetic energy is higher than, if you look at this, this is a, a low temperature, this is at a higher temperature. You see that the, the speed at which this one, these particles are moving is lower than the speed at this one, at which these ones are moving. So when there is a high temperature, then, uh, there will be more kinetic energy. And this more kinetic energy will make the collusion to happen. So if you look at these ones, you see that any time they can collide, but these ones, they are slow, the speed at which they are moving is, is too low, then it means that the rate at which they collide is going to be low. So we are saying that more particles have kinetic energy greater than the activation energy. So if there is a high temperature, you find out that there will be more particles having more uh, kinetic energy uh, greater than the activation energy. And the moment the, the energy or kinetic energy is greater than the activation energy, then the reactants are going to be converted into uh, products. More effective collusion uh, will take place per second. Then it means that uh, reactants can be converted into uh, products. Another factor is the effect of increasing in the concentration of the reactor.